Hey, you made it. Come on in. I'm so glad you could make it today. Welcome to my home. Today, we're gonna take a little tour of my apartment here in Gdansk. So let's get started. This is the front door, which you just came through, so you saw it very well. It's a nice front door. Got a good little lock on it. Keep that locked, stay safe. And then when you come in, this is what it looks like. It's got my bedroom there. That's my bathroom and the kitchen slash living room. Let's start with the bedroom. It came with this plant. So I was so hyped when I saw that it came with a plant because it just automatically felt homier and I love plants and I was gonna buy a plant anyways, but we got one. So that's a win. This is my bed. It's like a kind of queen double size-ish bed. Got a little azalea plant there. Got a decent view here. Nothing spectacular, but some buildings, east facing windows, so we get a sunrise that is blocked by all the buildings, but we'll take it. Not bad, not bad. Some of you may be wondering, do I fit in my bed? Well, the answer to that question is always going to be no, because unless I get like an Alaskan king, I'm not gonna fit in it. So we just do, you know, the diagonal thing. Take these pillows off. Oh, I just worked so hard to make this this morning, but here we are. And so, yes, as you can see, I would dangle, but make a triangle and you won't dangle. <laughs> I just made that up. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, can't complain. Got a bed to sleep on, got a roof over my head. One day when I settle down, I will get a California king size bed. And I'm very excited for that day. And, but until then, this will do. One thing that honestly boggles my mind about all of Europe is their blanket situation. Cause as you can see, I've got this little blanket over top of my duvet, which I don't know what I would do without it because the blankets they make barely cover the bed. Like this is just like, they make this blanket like an inch smaller than the mattress all the way around. Um, it's pushed down and why it's dangling over. But like literally there's no blanket flowing over the edge. Like we have back in Canada and the States. And I just don't understand why. I honestly don't know how people even like sleep together in a bed because my whole body needs this blanket. By the time you add the curvature of my body, like the blanket's barely touching and like getting cold air leaking in. So that's my one complaint, but just a random side rant. But thankfully we've got this blanket. So we kind of cover the edges. Okay, now I need to my bed. That, <laughs> I'm so close. That'll do for now. Let's continue with the tour. Leaving the bedroom and heading the very far distance across to the bathroom. Come on in. Here we have it. Okay. Pretty solid. We've got a micro washing machine. It's pretty much exactly the same one I have in Russia last year. It's super small. What are you doing in there? Which is fine, because I mean, I live alone, so I don't really need anything, but it means that I almost have to do laundry like every single day. I'll just do my practice gear for that day because that's basically a full load. The toilet. One thing I love about Europe is they have like bathroom radiators and they're basically like a heated towel rack. And so I find the towels just dry a lot faster because you can hang it on there. And even like sometimes when we're on road trips and stuff, you need to dry some laundry, just hang it on the towel radiator and it's gonna dry. One thing I love about my apartment is that the shower is actually tall enough for me. If you're tall, you know the struggle. It's like trying to take a shower like this, breaking your back. Here we go. Look at this. And I could even raise it if I want, but I like the, sh the water pressure to be fairly solid on my head to get the shampoo and stuff out. But yeah, we fit in the shower. Although the one thing is that it's kind of hard to like shave my legs in here because like, bending over angles, that clearly, clearly doesn't work very well. So, but whatever, a person could find a negative in every situation. So I'm just grateful. I love my little apartment here. So please don't take any of these too seriously because I am very appreciative of what I have. And I love it. Got a sink and a mirror. Whoop, what's up? Also love the nice big drawers of this bathroom. I'm able to have all my skincare and hair care stuff and organize it. And it's just been really nice to be able to actually like organize things instead of having it just thrown everywhere because you have no space to organize. And that's the bathroom. Next up, as you can see, I've got just this little like hall closet here. My clothes, jackets, there's cleaning supplies at the bottom. Very useful, very grateful that 
this place came with a lot of cleaning supplies. It's like, it's so annoying when you have to like buy all that stuff, but thankfully it came with it. So that was awesome. Now for the rest of the apartment. This is my kitchen. Here we have it. Got a stove. Got, this is actually a dishwasher, which is super clutch. And my mini fridge. My first time not having like a normal size fridge, which is kind of hard because it's very small. And when you're trying to like meal prep and stuff, it's kind of difficult to do that in a mini fridge, but it works well and I'm figuring it out, figuring out the system that I need to have. An induction stove, which is the first time I've ever had one, but I actually am learning to love it because it heats up so fast. It's just really heavy. This is my island countertop, which is meant for eating and stuff, but it's basically my desk workspace. I do also eat here because there's nowhere else to eat. This is where I like edit my vlogs and do some work and journal and yeah, Bible study, all that stuff. This is the spot. Got good lighting. As you can see, I've got my plants, my beautiful orchid. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can. It was a great purchase and it makes me very happy and it's so beautiful and you just like look at it. As you can see, I've also got some candles. I'm a big candle person. I love candles and they make my place smell so good. And it just makes me happy. And like the warmth, like it warms my heart. Like it really does. Onward from the kitchen and into the living room. Got my beautiful Monstera plant, which I also bought and I have no regrets about. It. And it makes me very happy. And look at this. We've got a brand new leaf. This one has grown since I bought it. It's thriving and yes, brings me a lot of joy. And then I've got this couch, which to be honest, I really don't use a lot, but it's great when I need it. It's a great little place to sit, hang out in between things, watch TikToks on, you know the drill. Then I've got this little ledge, which I actually had my orchid and my monstera on here originally, but I think because it's right by my radiator, it wasn't the best idea and it wasn't good for them. So I moved them. Now I have an empty ledge. I do need to figure out what I should put on that, just it's kind of empty, it's just sitting there. So if you have any ideas, please drop it in the comments below. Would love to hear what your thoughts are. Next, lastly, the entertainment center. Once again, more plants, happiness. Um, got my Nintendo Switch, which I actually haven't even played it since coming here. I've been too busy just like doing other stuff. So need to maybe make some use of that. My Theragun, which is essential for life. Apple TV, my second phone, battery charger lens, backpack, all the essentials for, yeah, managing boredom. Um, this is my little corner of athletic things. So I got my basketball, my foam roller, some bands, and my basketball shoes. And then I have a patio. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I don't really use this a lot, to be honest. It's mainly where I dry my laundry. So this is my view. down but it's really nice to get some fresh air and to be able to yeah pop my little patio door open also just get all the light from the window i love it um although funny story so one day i was out here i brought all my laundry out and i just kind of like dumped it onto this and guys i'm telling you so i have this there's a crease that crease right there i had some pieces of laundry drop onto my neighbor's patio like i literally looked over and i was like oh no Oh no. And I was like, what am I gonna do? This is so embarrassing. And I literally at one point was like, I just need to move. Like, this is it. I, I can never live here again. But <laughs> I went down, knocked on the door. Nobody was there. So I was like, oh shoot, what the heck am I gonna do? So I wrote a little note in the nicest writing I could just in case they needed to translate it. I was like, hello, I live in this unit above you. And I dropped some laundry on the your patio. So sorry, could you please return it to my number? And then like three days later, they came at my door <laughs> and knocked and brought it to me in a bag. So that was really nice. I was grateful to recover those pieces, but I was really ready to like never see that again. I was like, well, I guess we're just gonna call that a loss. <laughs> but anyways, this is my apartment. This is my home sweet home overseas here in Gdansk. My home till like next March, April, whenever season goes to, hopefully it goes that far. Everything's uncertain as you guys know right now, but that's the hope. This is definitely my favorite apartment I've had of my overseas career so far. So I'm just really grateful for it. And I feel so cozy and warm and especially with my plants and my candles, it's just really wonderful. And I enjoy getting to spend time here like when between practices and yeah, just days off. I probably should leave my apartment more than I do, but 
I just like it so much. So we're just, <laughs> and just to update you guys on what's happening with our league and playing and everything, all the girls from my team recovered 100% from the coronavirus and we've been practicing for the last like week and a half, which has been awesome to have everyone back and everyone healthy. And we're finally going to play a real basketball game this coming week. And so I'm really excited for that. During like the normal season, we would just be playing one game a week, but because everything's been rescheduled and postponed, we're gonna be playing like two games a week for the next three or so weeks here, which is gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be good. And yeah, just get to play games, hopefully get into a rhythm with the team. So I'm super excited for that. So excited to play our first game because it's been way too long. The last time I played like a real official basketball game was March 15th. And that was like the last game we played before all this quarantine stuff hit. So I'm so excited and I can't wait. I believe the games are going to be streamed. It's not always guaranteed. Most of them should be streamed and I will drop the link to the league's website below, which you should be able to find streaming links if they're available. I'll also be putting them on my Facebook and Instagram page. So be sure to check those out if you wanna watch the games live, which will be awesome. It's so cool that, yeah, you guys can watch these games that we're playing. Speaking of playing in front of people, there will be no fans as of now. Poland has actually really been putting in some new regulations as of the last like week or two. The numbers have just been skyrocketing and it's actually pretty bad. And so they've shut down a lot of schools and universities and gyms are officially shut down. And so it was kind of looking grim for a while there. I was like, oh no, are they gonna cancel our season? But it looks like we're still playing at this point. So I'm grateful for that. But yeah, we won't be playing in front of fans. As long as we can play, I'll be happy. But anyways, be sure to check out Facebook and Instagram for links for playing on Wednesday and Sunday coming up here. So that'll be probably in the morning if you're watching this in Canada or America. So just for time zone differences. But yeah, from there, season's just rolling. So. Hope you enjoyed this video today and the tour of my apartment and meeting my plant friends. I'm super excited for season to start and there's gonna be more videos and more adventures coming your way. So I'll see you next time. Do you ever like feel affection for your plants and wanna like hug them, but know that that would just crush them. So it's like this really awkward, I don't know, like I wanna just smother you with my love. That's not how I can love you. Anyways. <laughs>